Hey there, everybody. Um, it's Badge, obviously, and it's been a while. And I apologise. We'll get onto that in a minute. But here is the tree farm. I put some little trees on it. I haven't finished it yet, obviously, as you can see. It's had a few uh, remodels. Um, I just put some little little tree pictures there for now. I'm kind of tempted to do the entire walls in leaves actually. I think that would be quite nice. It'll only be this wall and that wall. And this is the log room where there is logs. As you can see there's quite a few logs missing. This is because I have been using quite a lot of wood. Now, there's a couple of extra bits and bobs that we're going to go through in a bit. But, let's start with this. Uh, it's a subtle modification I've made. And that is, when you push the button, the mic goes out. Does its thing. Just turn the volume back down again. And if you remember before, you could push the button and it wouldn't work because it was still in the cycle of cooling down, as it were. So now, bing! Light goes on when it's ready to go! Um, you can work out yourselves how to add that. I'll tell you now. It ain't easy. So, it works on normal trees. Let's clear some space. Works with birch trees. Whee. Jobs are good. I was going to grab my uh, grab my super axe. Super axe. Super axe, this is just an axe. Axe. Um, so yes, you may also have noticed this guy. Banch, why do you have something that looks like a number two on the wall? That's a very good question. I'm glad you asked. I will discuss that. But first, pine tree. Pine trees are a little tricky, but they will grow. There you go. <laughs> That's a snotty nose. I it's not easy. I've been so busy this week. Which is why there's been a lack of videos, I do apologise, but... This has been discussed many times. Don't make much money out of these, so... I have to prioritise on real work sometimes. So I can buy things like food. And my window's wide open, so... It's another warm day, so there will be buses and trucks and other noisy things going past, I apologise. And here, again a little bit trickier, I found it enough, jungle trees! sit and watch this all day. You see, I've changed the roof slightly. Uh, when 1.3 comes out, I'll change the other half of the roof as well, because then we'll be able to put redstone on top of a 
half slabs. You know what? We'll let that go. Let's go quickly look in here. There's a big red button there. This takes so long to fill up, it's ridiculous. Let's fill this up and I'll come back to you when I've done that. Because it will take a while. Okay, right. That took slightly longer than uh, anticipated because the whole mechanism, after working fine for a week, suddenly pretty spectacularly destroyed itself, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, but there we go, we've got six more logs, and that will finish that entire row, and then hopefully it should shift out. Um, this is untested. So it may not work. But hopefully it's not gonna work with a bloody four high tree, is it? Stumpy little bastard. Spoiling our fun. Right, okay, good. One more. Fire up. Now, hopefully, all sorts of shit should happen. the shape it has but um, it's probably due to the fact that I've been rebuilding it several times so let's have a look also you may have noticed stuff going on up here um, again this is temporary this is not all fully working which is why it's only showing one um, Let's go up here, or not, as the case may be. Uh, hello? What the hell? Right. Look at this biznitch. Oh yeah. So, let's quickly talk through this, shall we, for those that are interested. This is a standard ribbon thing. I don't know what they're called. Let's go side, actually. So, when it gets power, that piston fires, pushes all those across, that piston fires, pushes them all up, that piston behind there fires, pushes them all that way, and that piston there fires and pushes them all down. So they all rotate in a circle. Um, and then the outputs go up towards the seven segment display. Um, they are colour coordinated, because otherwise it's bloody impossible. So red, red comes up here, and red is this one. Orange is the next one, orange comes along here, and the comes up there, it's that one there. Now orange is the one that should be off at the moment, so I don't know why orange is on. Think. Um, and 
Yellow, I believe, is the middle one. Yes, yellow is the middle one. The yellow should be... Whatever it's not. I don't have any glass on me. Which is pretty typical. Um, if you want to know how to make one of those, I strongly suggest uh, checking out CNB Minecraft's um, clock tutorial. Right, that should say three now. Blah, blah, blah. I did just change that, did I not? And then it seems to say exactly the same. Oh, I fucking hate pistons. So what you're telling me was it was right. But it's just the pistons were spazzing. Because that now needs to be off. Big truck. So why? Why aren't you sending out a signal for a start? Oh, I know, because the... Fuck me. That thing that I broke that I couldn't work out why I broke. That. Still not. We were holding the... Holding the line somewhere. yellow this is so complicated and this is why it's taken me so long bah right let's see if we can throw ourselves in there yes we can because you're picking up power from that. I don't know these stupid things. And now you're picking up power from that. Okay, well, that's that's how to fix it. I just need to get on of this. It, because there's a torch on there, which is on, powering that. This wire was getting power from that block. Which is something I missed, and I'll probably find quite a few of those before the end of the day. As I say, this is all running untested at the moment. I mean, it was working fine, and then I've had to extend the towers as... Uh, okay, I'll show you in a minute. Oh, so much I want to talk about today, and I'm getting sidetracked. Boom! That's just 
too far. So, damn it, so this uh, made me do this everywhere. Okay, good. Um, another glass again. There's yeah, something ender pearling all over the shop. Oh, there's all my redstone is. Oh, thank God for that. Sorry, I've just been thinking. I need to go. Oh, bloody buses. I've been thinking I need to go and do a load of caving because I've run out of redstone again. I was wondering why it had gone so quick. It's because it's all in there. Right, what do I do? Fantastico. Right, now that should. Deleted. Say three. <laughs> um. Now why are you on? Okay. That's getting power from somewhere. Where are you getting power from, chappy? We're getting power from that block there. This is the joy of working with redstone in a small area. Right, now that definitely says three. There you go. That was easy, wasn't it? Let's have a quick kip. Come on. Get all this crap. Good. Right. Um. This whole area here will probably change if indeed it stays at all. The problem is I've put one there and I've also put one there. Now I think I might be overcomplicating things for myself. Not least of which I don't really need that there. Let alone two of them. Um, uh, I'll show you why this is such a pain. Yes, I thought I'd missed that. Then I thought, wow, I didn't miss it. And then I realised I did miss it. Right, so let's get our anuses up there. So this is the problem. We've got our pipes coming in here. Now, I just said earlier on that this thing broke. What happened was... I found something... Interesting. Do you remember we, when I was building the sheep thing, we were talking about trap doors uh, and how redstone that's not connected to the trap door can still affect it. And it would appear the redstone not attached to pistons can affect it as well. Uh, see the redstone on this block here. See the redstone there was powering that. Sort of. Let's 
Um, it's very weird. Because it, it almost sort of bad switched it. it. It went on, but then it wouldn't switch off. And I don't know why. So this whole line here is going to have to come up one. Though it's already come up one. To fix that problem. Um, I am really liking this look of... I mean, it's spot a bit now with these pipes going over the top and the redstone on it. Of the wood with like a single band of colour. Uh, really nice. Works really well. Um, so yes, so once we've got that... Uh, we've got red, orange, green, yellow, purple down there. Light blue over there, which is an afterthought because I completely forgot it. And then cobble and white here. So pairing one of these is relatively easy. But then it's got to cut across to there. Now I'm doing orange. Orange goes to there, but it also needs to go to that one. And I can't. So it can't go there. Can't bring it in up there because it kind of needs to. I suppose what we could. Put it there and put that on there. Will that power it? Bollocks! Not got any fucking these fuckers anyway. Come here. Yep, not got any fucking these fuckers. What do you reckon the chances are of getting on this? Oh yeah, he's a pro. Work out how to use redstone first, shall we? Now, has that hit the bottom one? Yes, it has. Oh, yeah. Um, so you can see the problem. Because I've, I've got to take that effect, and we can probably just put one there and bring him over here. And round to that, and hope that's on. So that's off, that'll be on. Um, we'll have to invert it somewhere again. And then, you know, red's got to come in. And red can go to that and that, it's easy enough. We get into that and that, I think it's going to be pretty much impossible. So I think next time you come to this video, you will see that this has been at least partially torn down. It's a shame. Um, Unless there's some, maybe if I make it taller, I can I can put them all in columns, and maybe I can do that. I don't know. I don't know. We'll work it out uh, at some point. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a quick one today, and I apologise for that, and I apologise for the lack of videos for those of you that actually want to watch my videos. I've got loads of stuff I want to talk about and things that are coming and stuff. But I just don't have the time at the moment. I'm really sorry. Really busy. Try getting up really early so I can get on with stuff. 
Um, I guess I was beavering away until quite late last night. I was very tired. My alarm clock went off for an hour and a half before I actually woke up properly. Uh, that's what five hours sleep does for you, I suppose. So, yes, apologies. It's short. Hopefully it was informative. Hopefully it was interesting. Um, and when we come back next time... Um, this should hopefully be a bit more functional. Now, um, briefly before I do go... I forgot to mention what's going on here. When this column here gets to the end here, it does that smart piston thing with the redstone torch. See, I've blocked all this in now, so you can't see it. Can I...? Yes, I can. Cool. Um, so when it hits that, that redstone torch powers this, which goes up here, which fires this, which pushes it all across, we know that. We've seen it before. Now, what it also does, isn't quite so cool, um, is it fires a pulse out of here, uh, which goes to this. This is a pulse limiter. Uh, so no matter how long the pulse going into here, we only get a one tick pulse coming out of there. Actually it's two, I think, isn't it? Two sets of three. Um, and that goes down there and that fires the old ch -ch 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 once. This is just a little delay circuit coming back, which comes back to this button, which is a manual override button. Um, which is just to stop you spamming the button, because if you spam the button, these pistons go in a spaz, and then the whole thing breaks. These things are very delicate, unfortunately. So, the thing is, you know, you build these up every time you make a new... Fuck me with the buses, man. Hate them. Hateful things. Horrible, horrible, smelly, hateful things. Um, yeah, every time you make a row, that trips, that goes up one, so you get to hit, which is great. It's like, yeah, yeah, I've got 12. Um, but the problem I'm having is if I decide to take a row out, there's only 11 rows. That still says 12, so I have to click this 11 times. What I've been working on trying to do is get something that counts the number of rows that if I cut a row out it will change a counter somehow somewhere and I mentioned it to Etho last night and said I've got a little puzzle for you if you're interested I haven't discussed it more fully with him yet but I'm interested to see if his redstone brain can come up with anything uh, that might do the job automatically. I mean, obviously, this ribbon thing is one way, so I need some sort of counting mechanism. I'm happy to replace this with one of those long ones like Shree built, static ones, which would be easier to change backwards and forwards. I've got some theories, but I haven't had the chance to put them into practice yet. Uh, but I'll speak to Etho and see. See what comes of it. Um, let me know if you think I should make this all out of leaves. Um, it makes it quite nice and airy, which is good. On the other hand, if it's built out of stone, I can burn the bloody leaves left from the tree. So, oop, hiccups. So I don't know. What do you think? I was all prepared to go and uh, go caving. But I don't need to now. Yay! 
Yay. 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 Might still do it there. Um, yeah. So, again, apologies for the length or lack thereof. And I will see you hopefully very soon with some. <sighs> with some rain. We'll have some info about things I'm planning for future series. A future series. Future this. Oh, shut up. See you guys later. <laughs>